Hello everyone, if you are trying to install Windows 10 and you end up seeing this screen forever, then it restarts and doesn't install Windows 10. And it turns out you have a Samsung laptop. Chances are you're never going to be able to install Windows 10. And I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to help you how to fix it and you're going to be able to install Windows 10. First of all, I apologize for the quality of my video. I recorded with my cell phone and I don't have all the good microphones and such. I just had this problem. I found a solution and I decided to share with everyone. Now that is the time that everybody's trying to install Windows 10. So if you have a Samsung laptop model NPR 400 to 500 or any other models with Broadcom Wi-Fi card, and when you install Windows 10, you see the message. The installation failed in the safe OS phase with an error during boot operation. And then you go to Microsoft website. And you don't see any solution. And you see all sorts of weird solutions that's going to take a while. Well, the problem is much simpler. It's just you just have to remove the Wi-Fi card from your computer. And it's pretty simple. Right, so here I show Windows functioning, it's because I removed my card. And right away I was able to install Windows 10 and make it work. Can't only disable the Wi-Fi card, you have to remove it to make it work. If you remove it, install Windows 10 and then install back the video card, it won't work and I show you. So talk about the solution. How do you remove the Wi-Fi card? How is it? How does it look like? The Wi-Fi card is this little thing here that looks like a memory slot or a memory card. It's something very small that goes in the back of your computer. To remove it, you don't even have to turn your computer off. Of course, it's recommended. All you have to do is remove all the screws in the back of your computer, remove the lead, and lift it up then you see the wi-fi card in the upper corner those cables are from the antenna you just pop it off gently and then you need a screwdriver to remove the screws from the wi-fi card and you it will come off pretty quickly pretty easily So get a screwdriver, remove, remove as many screws are there, and the Wi-Fi card is going to pop out just as the memory does. And you simply remove it. Done. That's it. You close your computer, and then you proceed with the installation, and everything is going to run fine next time. Right? So. It will work for you if you don't have to use Wi-Fi in your work. Because if you put your, your Wi-Fi card back, I'm going to show why it doesn't work with Windows. So you have to turn Windows on because if you restart, it's not going to work. So after Windows, Windows 10 boots and you put the card back, it works like, like a bug. Look at the screen. It's, I'm showing there. Nothing works, you cannot turn Wi-Fi on, but it recognizes the card. And unless Microsoft and Samsung works on a fix, you're going to be without your Windows 10. So what you can do, you can install a new card in place. Look at that, that's weird. You can install a new card in place, buy a new one, it costs around $30. And, and or you can buy one of those external Wi-Fi drives and uh, you can buy one of those that has AC capabilities so you can get 5G networks and you're going to be even better than before. But anyway, they can fix it later and you can start using Windows 10 right now and when they fix you install your card back, keep using it on the Ethernet or cable uh, or buy a new like one of those thumb drives and you're gonna be fine. So 
do as I'm saying and you're gonna fix, you're gonna be able to install Windows 10 without any headaches. All right, if you like the video, give it a like, leave your comments and let's help others. All right, share the video too. Thank you very much and enjoy.